Well, you'll have the uh, you'll have the call on him for the first quarter, Ned, and tell us how he moves. Well, the coin toss and killed a one, and they're kicking to the left hand side of the screen. Mark Harvey's called that there is a slight advantage he believes going to the left hand side of the screen. Here we go. And Shanahan picking up the first game, and not Neats. That's interesting. Ball in the centre circle. Uh, Saints with a breeze in this first term. Robert Harvey the first kick to, to, towards centre half forward. Bounces off Trionides. His haul, quick hand pass. Here's a chance. Trionides followed up and go. Well, that was just terrific play by Hall. Picking the ball straight off, off the ground and getting out to Trionides and give the young bloke a bit of confidence there. Seemed to run very well through the line there, uh, Trionides just backed himself to go there and, and safe hands by Hall. Interesting, Drew, how you picked up that uh, Shanahan's picking up uh, Nicholson, Alistair Nicholson, but uh, often you tend to do that because the, uh, the big, older, experienced player can sometimes bluff the younger guy into a bit of uh, insecurity. Yeah, good point. That was your strength, Ned. <laughs> Ball back in the middle and Steins wins this one. Glenn Lovett got a touch to it, but didn't win the football. Tony Brown for the Saints. Back into heavy traffic, crashing through there. Whistle's gone, Melbourne free kick. No advantage to Steins. Yeah, a little bit of a left hand there. Uh, got uh, Phoebe a little bit high. Chris that, was, that was there. Chris was playing loose man defence for St Kilda, number 18. Stephen Phoebe, twin brother Matthew, starting on the bench. No mark. Tough in the clinches. Eventually the ball out to Pyman off the side of the boot. Excellent mark by Hudson, the Queenslander, playing his third game. Across the ground to Nathan Burke. Obst had 16 possessions in the last quarter, the last time these two teams met. Saints go off the ground, Stewie Lowe dropped the mark near centre wing. Gets it back after a good hand pass, that was dished out by Smith. Good Paul. spoil by Gaspar. Oh, Joran heaps it by the Hopgood, he's lost it to Hall. Hall set up the first goal. But couldn't quite kick the second. Well, Drew, really, he should have he should have got that goal. A little bit of inexperience from the young fellow there, and they're the ones he's got to kick today. Absolutely. Like he saw, he actually, uh, the ball went dead straight to the location he was running then, Hall. When the ball's wet, it will go directly where you run to in your running motion as you kick. And uh, obviously his natural kicking style is a little bit of a hook foot, so uh, not to his benefit there. Chris St. St Kilda doing the zone at the moment. We saw Daryl Wakelin on the bench with first game of Brad Campbell. Well, they're waiting the uh, the outer side there. It'll have to go out that way. Kick by Gasper in the direction of Steins. The knock on favours Melbourne. Phoebe's hand pass up in the air. Brown inside 50. And an excellent mark taken by Smith. Melbourne defenders very loose at the moment down here and giving the St. Kilda forwards plenty of room. See, Jimmy Steins didn't try and uh, mark that ball. He tried to knock it over, but he didn't have the support running from that, uh, that knock-over set play from the kicking. Kick for goal by Joel Smith. 45 metres out. Offline. Low. Chance for Stewie. Good effort, but across the face. Was a good effort by the big, big fellow there. He didn't quite mark the ball, but he didn't let it go through for a point and gave himself a chance to have a shot at goal, but he didn't put it through, unfortunately. Uh, in these conditions, it's uh, crucial as a backman to play the straight bat early, isn't it? Get Just get the ball out of the area, not try and be too smart about everything. And try and push it over the boundary line or through for a point. Well, halves, all the uh, players are out the other side again. Yes, they are. They're going wide, Melbourne. Pyman has gone all right this year for Melbourne. Yep. Third club. Ball knocked back to the 50. High tackle. And the free kick to Brett Lovett. Clever play by Lover there. He felt the tackle on the upper arm. He just moved the arm out with a bit of strength and made the tackle slide up to his neck. 